McKelvey family and Cut Bank acquired a horse boarding facility in the area back in 2020, and they're already aiming towards some possible expansions to serve the Cut Bank community and surrounding areas. MTN's Kate Mentor spoke with the owner about their plans moving forward. Well, it might not be sunny in the middle of Cut Bank at the moment, but this exact facility I am located, otherwise known as Sunshine Stables, is one of the more unique places in town that provides various opportunities for horse riders around the area. Kaylin and Jake McKelvey acquired the facility in 2020 with the idea of meeting a simple need in the community. Um, Cut Bank has a pretty big horse population, a um, lot of riders, a lot of horses, and we just want to become a facility that the community can utilize, particularly year round, because as you know, weather doesn't hold out all that long around here. But the weather isn't stopping the McKelveys from making some new additions to their facility. When the facility was sold to them by the Weaver family, they decided to make it more than just a place for horse boarding. I think our biggest focus was meeting a need definitely targeted at youth, but specifically for maybe people who have an interest in horses that don't have their own uh, or don't have land. And so I thought, you know, maybe I should just start offering a lesson program for you know, all ages in the summer and see if it takes off. And while the facility has a long history of horse breeding, racing and recreation, they are now making plans to make some expansions, whether that be adding more pens for horse boarding, upgraded fencing and the long term goal of creating an indoor arena for community use within the next five to 10 years. But like any project, it can't be done without support. I've received nothing but help and um, positive reinforcement from anyone and everyone that we talked to about this idea. I don't think we would be where we're at today if it wasn't for that. So we're really extremely grateful for everyone's support. If you're interested, Sunshine Stables offers boarding for riders all year round, as well as lessons during the summer. For more info, you can contact them directly. The link to that will be posted on our website. In Cut Bank, Cade Mentor, MTN News. Newberry is fast approaching its first full year since it first opened its doors last autumn. I caught up with the general manager to speak about some of the successes they've been enjoying. The Newberry has resonated as one of the hottest spots in Great Falls. It's a group of five guys who are already local business owners who saw the potential in downtown and it's, it's been great. The, they saw the need in the community for a concert venue, especially an indoor one, um, but it has just turned into so much more than just concerts. The old brick foundation lining the walls harkens back to the building's storied past. It originally was J.J. Newberry's Five and Dime when it first opened 100 years ago, and that's where the name Newberry came from. So this was the building before. Here. So this part right here is now Central Avenue Meets, and this is our entrance, but you can see Dixie Shops here. Um, Woolworths was where Mighty Mo is right now. Owners and managers were unaware of just how needed a venue like the Newberry was until renovations began. Even before we were done with construction, we had already booked up weddings for almost the whole year for this year. So. It came as a little bit of a surprise to everybody. Apparently there was that need for another place to get married, to have events. We've done a lot of fundraisers, community meetings, weddings, as well as the concerts. So there's a lot of times we're doing a concert Friday night, wedding on Saturday, and another concert on Sunday. Opening a major concert venue has had a ripple effect felt throughout businesses downtown. Bringing all those people into town. For example, Kipmore was sold out on Friday night. Hotels were being booked because we had so many people from out of town. And if you come downtown on a concert night, every bar and restaurant is full before the concert. And a lot of times, a lot of them are full after the concert. So it's really been a great thing for all of downtown, not just the Newberry. Folks at the Newberry extend their gratitude for all the successes that made up the venue's first year. We just really want to thank everybody that has supported us over the last year. The response has been amazing. and. It's not just downtown Great Falls, it's not just Great Falls. We've had the surrounding communities and towns embrace us and we really, really want to thank everybody for their support of the Newberry in this first year. From Great Falls, Owen Scornacase, MTN News.